<coughs> so when somebody sneezes, you have to say, bless you. You don't have to say, right? You don't have to say, bless you. But it is considered polite. Yes, polite. Perfecto. Let's zoom in this bad boy. So, as always, what is up? What is up? Um, make sure this is recording. It's recording. What is up? Hello. How's it going? So, it may be a little awkward because... Um... I'm trying to like talk and also write at the same time. Talk and type at the same time and it's, um, and it could be whatever, uh, cause you know, <sighs> yeah. And because the thing is, um, what happens is, is that I, I really, uh, thanks for that, uh, auto correction because it's really helpful to see, right, at least for me, to see uh, what is being said. Um, it is very helpful uh, to see uh, what is being said, right? Um, uh, it allows for uh, more senses uh, to be engaged, therefore helping... Um, the learning, therefore, you know, uh, making learning, um, uh, easier, therefore making learning easier, or another way you can say, uh, another way, um, uh, you can actually say that, another way to say this, uh, sentence, uh, above is, um, uh, therefore, facilitating the learning process. Boom. Look at that. Out of correct. Okay, so, um, it might have been a bit advanced or not advanced, um, all of this stuff, but anyways, welcome to... Listen, love, learn. In today's topic, we have something that's really interesting, really cool, and that I just have to share with you guys because it is, oh my gosh, man. Uh, you know, today's topic is, is, just, is just one of those uh, topics that, um, man, it can literally, uh, man, um, it can literally take your English game onto a whole nother, to a whole new level. Yeah, Google Word with the Google Docs with the with the autocorrect. Okay, and so what am I talking about? Continue, keep watching to find out. Okay, uh, maybe I'm gonna insert like a, insert intro here. I don't have an intro yet. Okay, so let's get, let's get started. So today's topic, what is today's topic about? Today's topic is gonna be about pronunciation of verbs that ends in ED. So past tense verbs, um, Verbs that has happened in the past at various uh, degrees of the past. So that's what that's what we're talking about, and it's so important because so many times I come across people um, in you know conversation, and they can speak English very well. They're like intermediate and even like beginner, advanced level 
So we're talking about like high school level uh, English um, around, I would say, I don't know. I'm not an expert. I don't have a standard. Anyways, they can carry a conversation pretty confidently, pretty pretty well, they, and they understand and they keep up. But when when this stuff happens, it's like, oh, come on, bro. Ugh. Really? Here goes what I'm talking about. So if you can see my screen here, we have um, basically three categories of sounds that are made uh, from these uh, ED verbs. And so uh, here, here goes kind of the rules. I know English doesn't have really rules, but they kind of do. English does have rules. Um, so here goes the things that you have to keep, keep keep in mind okay so you get the T sound you get the id or the ud sound and then you have the D sound D sound right so the D D sound D sound so if the verb ends in voiceless sound voiceless sound what do you what do we mean by voiceless sound right what does this mean nope what, is, what do we mean by that? Let's underline that bad boy. Voiceless sound? Okay, good question. It's a P, F, K, F, S, H, or C, H, or a T, H. If that verb ends in one of those uh, letters or sounds, which we, we're calling them voiceless sounds, if it ends in a voiceless sound, then we're looking at, uh, we're going to get a T sound, from the D, okay? It's gonna be a T sound. Here goes, uh, uh, here goes a list of some examples. Mixed, not mixed, mixed. Jumped, not jumped, jumped. Talked, not talked, talked. So you see it's a T sound. So that's why it's very important. So when you're, that's that, that that's why you know it's super important to try to read, uh, when, to to try to read as you're hearing, um, it being read. So that's part of the reasons why I like to I like to you know um, I like to try to type to try to type to let you see what you are hearing. Okay, if I can uh, spell correctly. So you have jumped, right? Talked, walked, uh, hiked, right? All these things. Um, worked, stopped, you know, hoped, passed, reached, hoped, not hoped, hoped. Um, uh, uh, cashed, crashed, you guys get the idea, right? You guys, you, you, you guys get the point. So, these, uh, T, uh, voiceless sound, okay? So, um, if the, if the, if the, uh, if the, if, if the verb ends in a T or D, right, what's going to happen is that, uh, we have covered, we have included, right, expected, FC, so this is where you add that extra syllable, decided, added, Suggested, offered. So it seems with the R too. Started, provided, needed, decided. So that's where you get the id and the ud sound. And then if the verb ends in a voiced sound, um, If the verb ends in a voiced sound, B, V, G, Z, J, T, 
T-H-L-M-N-R, played, right, played, caused, not played, not caused, we're not making more syllables, we're not making more syllables here, um, we're keeping it one syllable, played, caused, explained, not explained, right, explained, learned, applied, lied, described, returned, considered, that's, yeah, allowed, seemed, followed, appeared, opened, tried, lived, remained, received, agreed, moved, remembered, changed, continued, considered, all these words, allowed, carried, involved, what time is it, Tough for time for work, so that's basically it, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and check out, uh, just checking out some microphones out here, uh, list of verbs, um, voiceless sounds, literacym.org, mn.org, sounds like a really cool little thing, so boom, um, Sounds like a cool little See? That's cool. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and um post this link, copy this link, uh put it here and leave the link of this uh word not word but this uh, Google Google Doc. But I hope that was um that was helpful, um, and everything else. If not, let me know. Uh, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, but um, thanks for watching. If I need to know how to tie it. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what else you would like to see. Um, to see, uh, also, um, always remember guys, always remember guys and girl and gals, uh, that I love you guys, and to always Listen, whoop, love, learn, peace.